Hello, this is James Roney Stairs with freemagneticenergy.info and youtube.com forward slash free magnetic energy 2. That's free magnetic energy 2, number 2. Hello, this video is going to be the last video I ever make trying to explain this because apparently, and I agree, I haven't done exactly a good job in regards to scientifically going over what's happening in here and why things work the way they do versus the way other people say it shouldn't work. So I need to address that because I have been inundated by an enormous amount of people who are trying to tell me that what I'm doing is absolutely wrong. Here or there, let me continue here and I'll cover some things. First of all, what you're seeing here is a tripod stand, it's aluminum. There's the wheel that you always see in my videos. It's laying on the floor, on the on the floor down there. And um, by the way, you're welcome to copy and repost my videos freely, as long as you don't do it for monetary or financial gain, directly or indirectly, uh, in any way, shape, or form. With that said, I strongly advise you to copy my videos before they get taken down yet again. Yet there are a lot of obvious fake videos with so-called magnetic motors here on YouTube and elsewhere, and yet they never get taken down. They just don't. Let me adjust this a little bit here. There we go. Okay, by the way, I spun that. There's no stator there. I just took my hand and spun it around. So it's gonna stop in a moment. Okay. First, the email that I keep getting in is about the natural laws of attraction when it comes to magnetism. As you know, or maybe you don't, our laws of physics are based upon our world around us, a natural observations of how our world works. Okay, with that said, I'm not trying to reinvent laws of physics at all, so don't even go there. So, what we have here is a two inch by one inch across by a quarter of an inch thick neodymium magnet in 42 strength. Okay, now, Laws of physics basically says this, and it is true, that the natural law of attraction on this side is equal on this side. So both sides have equal attraction. Yes, that is absolutely correct. But what if you could take this side, the magnet, and make one side weaker over here and this side stronger over here. Then, when the magnet came across, it'd be stronger here and weaker over here. It would not have the same equal counter attraction over here and thus canceling out any net or inertia that you gained when the rotor magnets came through. Well, guess what? You can't. A magnet is what it is. However strong of attraction it is here, it's going to be the same strength of attraction here. In fact, the magnetic flux, the strongest of the magnetic flux, comes out about here somewhere. About the edge of my hand, either side, the magnetic flux around this is really powerful. In layman's terms, the attraction from the magnet is really strong about one inch away from this magnet. Okay, so, since we can't change this magnet, is there another way to go about this? Yes. I have designed what is naturally called the James Roney one-way magnetic stator. If you don't know what a stator is, you're going to have to do some research. But this is my stator. Inside of the stator, you will find this magnet laying down in there positioned exactly like that. Okay? So, that magnet is buried deep inside of this. Now, remember, the natural law of attraction says that since this magnet is inside of here, 
that the magnetic flux, which creates this strong attraction, will be equal on one side and will be equal on this side as well. Remember, a lot of you are sending me emails about that. Well, guess what? In this case, the answer is an absolute resounding no. In fact, not only is the magnetic flux on this side weaker or lower than, magnet than this side, but the magnetic flux on this side is absolute or darn near absolute zero. There is no magnetic flux on this back side. I posted a video with a paperclip proving that. And some of you all are still in denial. So, the attraction on this side is extremely strong. This side is extremely weak. Now, let me go down here and show you how all this works. Because what we have to do is that if we don't make it in balance, then nothing's going to work and it's called a sticky spot. And thus, you can't make a motor run strictly on magnets. Now, that wheel has come to a stop because there's no magnets down here. I spun this before I started the video with my hand like that. So it's, it's just running on the power of my arm. So that's all I did there. Okay, because you can see where the stator goes, it's not in there. But let's get back to the sticky spot that everybody keeps writing and telling me about. So here you go. As you can see, I have a magnet in my hand, and that's why I can control this wheel with this hand here, because it's being drawn to the magnet inside of my hand. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this magnet, I'm going to lay it down in here, and hold it with two fingers on my left hand, because there's no way to fasten it in here right now. So I'm holding it there, and as you will see here, let me bring it here, back here where this black tape is, that tape here for you, so you can see that what goes into this magnet attraction is just drawn back and forth. So whatever energy or speed I gain gets canceled out when it gets to the other end of the magnet. So it just goes back and forth, back and forth. In other words, it's stuck. It's really not going to go anywhere. This is best known as the sticky spot. There, there are two fundamental kinds of sticky spots where you use light polarities or opposite polarities. Regardless, a sticky spot is a sticky spot where it just gets stuck and doesn't want to function properly. Okay, see that? It doesn't want to go through. And I gave that a pretty good chance just then with my fingers to get through this. So the back of my hand here acts as a stator. Obviously, this doesn't work. Watch this. Let's take it out. Voila! It goes on. Because there was nothing here, there, to cancel out the counter pull of the energy that I gained when it went through. But that's cheating. I mean, that's just not how you make a magnet board work. But what if we put the James Roney stator in here? What will happen? Remember, stronger this side, weaker this side. Remember, this is metal though. There's still going to be an attraction on this side here. Okay, now. Get this right here where the black tape is. There's the black tape right there. Can you see the tape right there? I'm going to put this in here. These are brass, so there's no metal, no attraction here. Okay. Now, literally from a dead standstill, I can feel it pulling here just a little bit. I can feel a little bit of attraction. From a dead stop, dead standstill, I'm not going to push this. I'm just going to let it naturally come through. If the law of attraction is equal on this side, then when this goes through, most, if not nearly all of the forward momentum, the inertia that gains up from this, will be canceled out over here. The wheel will either come out going really slow, or almost not at all, or it just will swing back. Okay? So watch what happens with my James Roney Stater. Here we go. Slow, it's picking up a little bit of speed. Here we go. Voila, look at that, it's still going. The next set of magnets is picking it up. It's not going to go all the way through. No, it's not going to. In fact, the way I have these magnets spaced are not spaced as well as these. I have found that when you adjust the spacing of these six magnets by merely the thickness of a nickel, it makes and breaks how well this works. So these are really sweet here. 
In fact, you'll notice something here in a moment. Watch this. There's only four magnets here instead of six. Yet, even though there's only four, watch how well this works. Just give it a little nudge. A little more. It still goes through. Now watch, here comes the black tape. Look at that speed, and it goes all the way through. Isn't that amazing? That, that, this over here, the way these magnets are set up, absolutely defies the typical practical laws of attraction that everybody keeps telling me about that what I'm doing could not possibly work. And the way these magnets are set up is so perfect. I'm going to have to get all these other set up just like that. So now, remember, even though this is coming from almost a dead stop, and it picks up quite a bit of speed and keeps on going, it doesn't lose all the speed that it gained. I mean, that's obvious from the video. That one almost went through. But, because these mags are just not set up right. They're just, they're just not. But if you take the stator, where this comes through here like this, and as this picks up speed like it does, then you have another stator here, and then another stator here, 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 and here. Okay? Yeah, I can hear you all right now. Until I put all the other stators around, this thing still doesn't work. You know what? I agree with you. But, because of what we see here with this black tape, I believe it's a no-brainer that once we put another stator here, look how much speed that picks up. I mean, that's amazing. That is amazing. It didn't come back either. Watch. You get through, get, go through here again. But watch, here comes the black tape again. Look at that. Look at that speed that it picks up. And it just goes on around. Oh, look, that went through. Now, it's not going to keep going now. So, this is exciting. Okay, you can tell I'm excited about this. So, again, this side is stronger. This side is weaker. Okay, that's what makes this work. And also has the effect of the runway plate here. You can look that up on my channel too as well. Now, as far as making electricity out of this, I can tell you right now. This wheel, and I'm going to do this by hand, this wheel I don't believe is ever going to turn much faster than, I believe about that. I think that's as fast as it's ever going to run. However, there, this with one stator, you can already tell that it's generating a lot of torque. So, if you were to make this six inches wide, or on a cylinder that's four feet, or six feet across, by 18 feet in length, that's six by 18 feet in length, set up the same principle with the multiple stators all the way around, and the magnets are six inches across instead of one inch, the torque that that would generate would be enormous. And then you take the torque that that generates, and gear that down, either through gears or a pulley, and hook that up to a tiny, small axle, and make that axle drive the generator. So you could take the torque and convert it into electrical energy. That is the only chance in hell and high water that this is ever going to work. And if this doesn't work for any reason, I promise you, I will repost the failure. I mean, I will post the failure. Not repost it, but I'll post it. Okay? And after this all gets working, I'm going to take this, should it work, I'm going to take it to an accredited, well-known, if not close to being famous, uh, university, and have them verify and certify my accomplishments here. So, with that thought in mind, please withhold your criticism for now. Let's see, when I finally rebuild this, I'll have to rebuild the whole thing. Let's see if this is actually going to work. It might. But then again... It might not, but if I was a gambler, I'd gamble on this, because I've seen enough, and there's no trickery. There's no fishing lines. There's no fishing lines anywhere. None. There's no tricks. And there's no air balloon. I could put a candle there, and the flame wouldn't flicker, except when I move. Anyway, and plus you would be here in a fan motor, probably. All right, this is James Ray Stater signing out. Again, you're welcome to freely copy my videos and repost them. I strongly advise you to do so right away before it disappears yet again. 
I think 12 or 13 times now it's happened. Uh, and as long as you do it, you can do it. As long as there's no monetary or financial gain, uh, you're welcome to repost this anywhere and everywhere. This is James Rennie Staters with freemagneticenergy.info and youtube.com forward slash freemagneticenergy2. Signing out, you can write me at freemagneticenergy at gmail.com.